Okay, here is a, a comment I left under one of my videos a few years ago. My fasting glucose was 121 at my doctor's appointment. A week ago, I had a doctor appointment in the afternoon, and the doctor sent me to get some blood work done. It was such a good feeling knowing that my blood sugar would be good that day because I have watched these videos, speaking apparently of my videos, I've watched the videos enough to where carbs look like a poison to me. Well, you know you're, you're starting to get things when you understand carbs looking like a poison. They lose their <laughs> seductiveness. Carbs can be seductive. Eat me. I'm sweet. I'm cute. I'll make you feel good. I'll make you happy. I'll give you a sugar buzz. But when you see cars, carbs looking like a poison, all those siren songs they're singing to you are not going to be effective. He's like, no, they look like poison to me. I've watched enough of your videos. That's how I see it. When I see mashed potatoes, I don't see mashed potatoes. I see poison. And when I see a piece of bread, I see poison. You say, well, is bread so evil that nobody could eat it? No, if you're healthy and young and fit and muscular and you don't have a trace of insulin resistance, you can eat bread. Some, you shouldn't overdo it. But I tell you what, when you pass middle age and you're not so muscular anymore and uh, you've got insulin resistance, bread is not your friend, nor are any of the other starches, potatoes. Everybody knows sugar is not your friend. Sugar is the worst of all, but you got to deal with the starches as well. So anyway, this person says, this, uh, the doctor sent me to get blood work done. He says it was a good feeling knowing my blood sugar would be good. I had had that day Greek yogurt, blueberries, and nuts, and my glucose, when it was tested, was 92. Wow, that is awesome. He finishes by saying, thank you, Dennis, for all you do. <laughs> when I read that, it reminded me of when I was in college. My first year in college, I was a lousy student. I had a bad attitude. Uh, I was not the Dennis, you guys know. I was not a Christian which was my major problem. And I had a, a lousy attitude. I just wanted to party and have fun and, and did not want to do any more work than I had to. I barely was able to squeak out C's. I think my, I, had a, I had a C average that year and I didn't try hard at all. My parents were disappointed in me, uh, but I was having fun. But something happened to me that second year and I got motivated. And I began to work hard. And it's amazing because that first year when I was getting those C's and some rather lousy grades, I didn't like taking tests. And I definitely didn't like hearing my scores on tests because they were always either mediocre or less than mediocre, bad. So I never looked forward to the day the test would come back and I would find out what I had scored. It was never great. But the second year, once I got motivated, the grades jumped up like crazy. Instead of having a C average, I had like a 3.6 grade point average. Four is perfect. I think I got a B in one course, uh, but the rest were A's. And I enjoyed getting my tests back. I enjoyed tests. I enjoyed getting them back because I knew I was going to do well. I had studied hard and I knew I would do very well. And I did. Now, that's how this person feels about their glucose test. He says, I went to the doctor and the doctor said, well, we need to take a, a glucose test. Let's just see where you are right now. And I don't, it wasn't a fasting test. He had eaten that day, but he says, I'd eaten some Greek yogurt, nuts, and some berries. And uh, he said, I was excited. I, I, was, I was eager to see what I would get because he knew that those kind of foods are not going to provoke high glucose. And sure enough, he had a 92 for a glucose, 92 milligrams per deciliter uh, for, a gluco for his glucose test. It's nice to feel good about yourself instead of feeling like everything is going to come back bad. And the wonderful thing is there are things you can do. My first year in college, I got C's because I hardly studied. It's a wonder I didn't flunk out altogether. My second year, I got mostly A's because I did study. So it's not that the second year I had nicer teachers, professors than the first year. No, the professors were about the same. 
But the first year I didn't study, the second year I did, which meant it was up to me. I could study and get good grades or not study and get bad grades. The same is with you. When you understand that your glucose numbers are not just some magical number that floats down out of the air and there's not a thing you can do about it, you're just one of the unlucky ones. When you get that the choices you make about what you eat can make all the difference in the world, you'll get encouraged. I did. I'll never forget that first test that I did that really encouraged me so much. I had taken a test the day before, a glucose test, and I, I was up way too high, something like 185 or so, and I knew that wasn't good, and I was disgusted. And the second test, uh, the second day, I deliberately chose a, I think it was a Cobb salad or a chef's salad, and I didn't even eat the croutons. And then I tested myself about an hour after eating, and it was like a 118 or so. And it, there was a euphoria. It was like, there's something I can do about this condition. It's, it's not just some magic bad luck that fell on my head out of nowhere. There's things I can do. My friend, there are things you can do. You can get those numbers down. Yeah, it'll, it'll cost a little bit. There'll be some changes you'll have to make, some sacrifices. But it will be so worth it. And you will find that in most cases, when you sacrifice one food, there's a great keto substitute or low-carb substitute that'll be almost as good, sometimes even better. I've got a, uh, a low-carb substitute for oatmeal that I make out of a lot of nuts and some other things that to me, and I even include a couple of strawberries, to me tastes better than real oatmeal. So it's like I haven't substituted anything. I mean, I haven't sacrificed anything. If I want oatmeal, I'll have my version of oatmeal, which has no oats in it at all, and it tastes better than real oatmeal. And there's a number of things like that. I've got desserts, keto desserts, that are far better than most of the desserts I had before I even was low-carb. So differences can be made. And uh, this, this individual is like, the doc said, you're going to have to take a glucose test. Oh, boy. I can't wait. Doc, it's going to be good. And sure enough, it was. Change is coming to beat diabetes. No, not a major overhaul, but a slight change. Most of you, if you've been watching the last couple of weeks, know that we're having another one of our challenges. Become non-diabetic by Christmas. I think it's very likely that most of you can do it if you will follow the guidelines I'll be providing, and I'll be sending out emails with links to different things, sending you tips, and making special videos for our challenge participants. So if you want to be a part of this challenge and get those emails, all you have to do is sign up, send an email to me, grace at spiritofgrace.org, and write the words, count me in, on the subject line. Again, grace at spiritofgrace.org, write, count me in, on the subject line. Now, what's the change? That's actually something we've done in the last uh, couple of years, I believe. But the change is this. As we go along through this process of beating diabetes in basically four months' time, uh, I'm going to be writing a book that I want to be able to share so that if someone's not, uh, we're not doing a particular challenge, and I don't know that I'll be doing these challenges uh, <laughs> for the rest of my life, uh, but uh, I would like to have a book available so anybody can start at any time. Uh, we get emails like one month late, two months late, three months late, and say, well, I, I missed the first couple of months. Can I still be a part of the challenge? It's hardly fair. But what I want to be able to do is provide a book for people that will enable you to start your challenge anytime. So it might be April the 12th or May the 15th or August the 7th or whenever you want to start. And uh, you can have your own personal challenge. We probably will be doing more challenges. I don't know. But I want to write a book. Now, here's the, the, the point of all that and why we need to make the change. Normally, I upload videos on Tuesday, and the way I do it, in, in case you haven't noticed, is I will generally sit down and, and answer a bunch of comments and or reply, respond to some comments. Uh, and I'll, I'll usually make uh, between 45 minutes and an hour's worth of video, and then I'll just chop it up into small pieces. And those are normally my Tuesday videos. 
So uh, that's easy for me to do. I can do that at any time and then just chop, chop it up question by question or maybe sometimes two questions. But for the rest of this year, we're switching from Tuesdays to Wednesdays. Yeah, you heard that right, folks. No more beat diabetes on Tuesday. It's going to be on Wednesday. We probably will go back to Tuesday at the beginning of the next year. But the reason is this, normally on Mondays, my big focus is to read the Bible and pray and seek the Lord. So it's that's one reason I like to make it easy on myself and not do any video that's too difficult. And by doing long videos anytime and then chopping them into pieces on uh, Mondays, I can just upload one of those small uh, answers or replies to a comment. It's not very hard, not much uh, effort uh, on my part. But uh, for the rest of this year, on Wednesdays, I intend to go into more detail and just kind of list the things that are important, uh, fundamentally important in beating diabetes, and especially is relevant to those that want to do it in four to six months, if at all possible. Can't guarantee anything, obviously, but I can say I think you're more likely than not to beat diabetes. That is to get your A1C below 6.5. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little more time. We're going to stop posting comments, and I'm going to start posting things related to the challenge. So if you're if you're not interested in the challenge, well, then Wednesday is a <laughs> you can skip. But it's going to be things that are related to beating diabetes, crushing diabetes, driving diabetes away from your door. And it's going to take me a little more time to think through it and process it and make these videos than just to reply to a, a single comment or two. So by giving myself an extra day on Tuesday to work out a, a more thorough and, and complete message, uh, we'll put those on Wednesdays. So the Wednesdays from here on in to about Christmas time are going to be related specifically to the challenge and to what it takes to beat diabetes. And I'm going to be taking those lessons and those teachings and those videos and making chapters or partial chapters out of them and put them together in a book. So again, to be a part of this particular challenge, just write an email to me. Send me an email, grace at spiritofgrace.org. Write, count me in on the subject line. And then hopefully sometime around the beginning of next year, the Lord willing, I plan to have the book available. This will be the first book I've done. I've done three books and they've all been published by Harvest House. But this time I, I am uh, launching out on my own. Uh, this is going to be an Amazon published book. And uh, you'll be able to get it directly from Amazon. And so it may not be quite as slick and professional as the first three because we had professional editors and uh, it was done by a major publishing company. This one is on my own. So if you get the first copy and you say, Dennis, you made five or six mistakes, then send me an email. Let me know uh, so we can correct that for future versions of that book. So the long and the short of it is... From now on through the rest of this year, pretty much, the videos that were on Tuesday will be on Wednesday, and they will be related specifically to beating diabetes within about a four-month to six-month period. So look for the video next week on a Wednesday, not a Tuesday. God bless you.